Hi party people! Um, so today, since I start school in like a week, I figured I would talk about SAIC, um, also known as like School of the Art Institute of Chicago, which is the school that I go to. Um, so I'm gonna be a senior this fall, and I figured, oh no, I would just talk about like my experience since I have been going here for three years. Um, so I think I'm gonna start, oh, this is also gonna be pretty long, I think, so I'll probably put, like, timestamps in the description, um, and also I'll try and keep my rambling to, like, a minimum, I have notes, so hopefully I stay on track. Um, so the first thing is, like, I guess applying, um, so I applied, yeah, like, three, four years ago. And I originally wanted to go here for animation. And so I had my portfolio. I ended up going to the SAIC like portfolio review that they do. And they have them in like a bunch of different cities. But I went to the one in San Francisco since that's where I'm from. Um, and my entire portfolio was paintings or drawings um, because that's kind of what I did even though I wanted to go to school for animation. Um, but at the time, I was, like, not sure if I wanted to either go to school, like, an art school, art school, or go to, like, a college and take, like, art classes and, like, do something else not art-related. Um, so I still wasn't sure about that, um, but I was like, I think I like animation because I grew up, like, watching a lot of animation and I wanted to be able to, like, tell stories and like connect with people through that um i probably wrote something like that for my like artist statement i don't even remember i it was a really long time ago but at the portfolio review i was really nervous i was like i don't think i'm good enough um there was a lot of people and we like first sat down for like a presentation about the school and then they like called us by name like one by one into the, their offices um, so that I, like, could physically, like, show them my portfolio. Um, they didn't give me that much feedback. My review was definitely very quick, and, like, I get that. They have a lot of people to go through. Um, I wish I had asked more questions, I think. Um, the one big thing they told me was that my portfolio should have, like, a common, like, theme or concept. And I was like, okay, cool. I will definitely do that. Uh, and then I like walked out and my mom was like, that was really fast. Is that good or bad? And I was like, I have no idea. Um, but I like finished my application. I ended up doing, I think it's called early action. I, I think there's early decision and early action. One of them is that you have to go to the school if you do that early like acceptance. The other option is you don't necessarily have to go. Um, you can still reject them if you decide you don't want that school. So I did that option because I was like, commitment? I don't know. Um, but then I ended up getting in and I remember I got an envelope in the mail and I was like, oh, it's probably like a rejection letter and they're telling me I suck. Um, and my mom was like, it says congratulations on the envelope. And I was like, I feel like that's them like messing with you and you didn't actually get in. And but I did get in and I was like, oh my God, yay. Um, so, yeah, I decided to go to SAAC, um, I liked it because Chicago, I definitely wanted to be away from home, but, like, not too far, so I didn't apply to any schools in New York, I think, um, and so, anyways, I was like, cool, I'm going to, I'm going here now, and so, freshman year, um, freshman year was <laughs> an adventure, um, so every year you have to have these mandatory classes no matter what you're studying. Um, so for freshman year it was core and research. Um, research is kind of explanatory, you know, you research things. Um, and core you like learn things that will like help you. I'm not doing a very good job at explaining. But basically you learn things that um, like no matter what department you're in you just learn them. So we like learned how to use like laser cutter, we learned how to use 
um, we learned how to like use a wood shop, um, and like film equipment, lighting equipment, um, just like things like that, like the basics. Um, so, you know, you could go to like the wood shop for your own personal projects, even if you're like doing a painting or something like that. Um, which I think was definitely really fun and, you know, new, um, because I was definitely terrified of a lot of the equipment. Um, and so I liked that they, like, taught you how to use it, they authorized you, um, and then I had my elective, which was, uh, I decided to do intro to animation, because that's what I thought I was going in for, and I think it was a fun class. I definitely learned a lot. I learned, like, walking cycles, um, like, transformations, I think they're called. I learned a lot of stuff. We watched videos every class and like dissected how they animated those clips um and the teacher was a really nice guy I can't remember what his name was um I got distracted because my roommate came in what was I talking about core um <laughs> I'm so stupid um oh the animation department right um, okay, so I just feel like there wasn't a lot of collaboration and discussion. I felt like the class was very quiet and mostly it was just the teacher talking most of the time. And also I was like, I don't know if I can do this for the rest of my life, hand drawing. And I know it's not like hand drawing now, but like, I was like, I don't think I love animation enough to do this for the rest of my life. Um, but it was also like way too late to, you know, drop the class and try a new one. So I just like stuck with it and so the next semester, the spring semester, uh, my elective I chose to do intro to fashion because I was like this is very different from animation and also I like always like to DIY things and like my clothes, oh god I painted on my clothes when I was a kid and I feel like it just looks so bad looking back on it and my fashion sense was not there. Um, but I asked to learn how to sew when I was like 10 and I asked to learn how to like knit and crochet like for my birthday, like that's what I wanted and it was weird. But, so I was like, okay, fashion, I'll try it. And you know, if it doesn't work out, I'll pick something else next semester. So intro to fashion was really, really fun. Um, Annie Novotny was my teacher. And I absolutely, like, I love her so much. I took one of her other classes, like, last year, I think. Um, she was amazing, and basically I learned kind of all the basics. I learned how to use the industrial sewing machine there. I learned how to use the serger, the um, home sewing machines that you can rent. I learned how to use, like, just, like, basic patterning. I learned, like basic drawings like how to illustrate um what else did i learn um we did a lot of like fabric manipulations which ended up being our final we had to manipulate muslin into a garment um so that was super cool and then at the end of the semester i was like yeah i think i want to keep doing this um and so i ended up like joining the bodybuilder pathway um and so in the fashion department, there's like two pathways. There's core and there's the bodybuilders. And core is known to be super intense and you have to like actually apply and like be reviewed by pan, like, you know, um, submit your portfolio, that kind of thing. And they'll like actually pick you or not. <laughs> um, but I never did that. I decided to do the bodybuilder program because, well, first of all, I didn't know if that's like what I wanted to do. I was still unsure. And so the bodybuilder lets you literally like build a body, I guess, like you can mix and match what classes you want to take. So you can either like learn very specific stuff, like I want to go into hats and then you can just do hat classes for the rest of your life at SAIC. Um, or you can, you know, do like accessory design, shoes, um, knitwear, lingerie, you can try all these different things and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to like learn a little bit of everything. Um, d I didn't actually want to go into core two because I was a little like scared and unsure of myself. Um, I don't know that much about fashion and I felt like core would be so intense 
that I would hate fashion and then I wouldn't love what I do anymore and then I'd like have a whole life crisis about what am I gonna do with my life. I also think another thing with the core program is that you learn more technical stuff than the bodybuilder the bodybuilders do. You learn like well, I don't really know, but you learn how to make like pants, you learn how to pattern, you learn a lot more about like construction and less the conceptual stuff because our school is really big on the conceptual stuff. Um, which I kind of wanted to learn more technical construction things and I was like, well, I don't really want to have to apply to the core program to learn how to make like a shirt you know so I did learn some stuff through just like my free time through the summers like how to make a shirt or how to make pants that kind of thing but also like Liot's lingerie class taught me how to drape um, and so and just basically how to make patterns and I thought that was really like Liot's class is one of my favorites and I definitely think I learned a lot um, so that was super helpful. Um, yeah. I guess a lot of this school stuff is also just like you have to take your, like you have to figure out what you want to learn and you have to do it yourself. Um, and obviously if you need help you can definitely ask your teachers but I really think it's a lot more like self-driven. Like... If I wanted to learn how to sew buttonholes, then I would have to go and ask my teacher specifically, hey, how do you do that? And then she would be like, oh, this is how you do it. And there, or there's a machine for it or something like that. Um, but they wouldn't be like, okay class, today we're gonna learn about buttons. Um, it's a lot of just working on your own projects most of the time. Um, they usually give you a concept or a theme and then you kind of research it, you think about what inspires you, and then you make your own thing based off of that, and a lot of it is very conceptual, which I guess is not necessarily a bad thing, but sometimes I'm just like, dang, I just want to learn how to make jeans or something like that. I don't want to make a garment symbolizing the life and death of humanity, like that kind of thing. Um, and you definitely don't have to make conceptual pieces, but then I feel like the critiques are kind of awkward people don't really know how to what to say um because you know you can't i think critiques are very helpful in being like your idea really came across well through your use of how you showed color or something like that i don't know and i feel like critiques are less helpful when it's like you sewed this crooked you know but it's i don't know I just feel like the concepts are important and to, like I understand concepts are important and technical stuff is important but I feel like we don't really dwell on the technical stuff and we do more like we do more of the conceptual stuff and sometimes I just want to learn how to like make something well I don't know what I'm talking about anymore but I just I don't know. Sometimes I just want to make something fun with no meaning. And I definitely think that is not what this school is. Does that make any sense? Um, that's, I feel like, I don't even know. I, not, I don't necessarily want to go into the fashion industry and like be like a runway designer or like couture designer so I don't think the core program is necessary for me because I kind of just want to like be my do my own small business thing um and I definitely think I'm learning a lot in this school I mean I'm paying a lot of money so you know I better be learning um yeah I'm rambling now I'm gonna move on like this school is already like expensive and I feel like you spend a lot of money on supplies depending on what department you're in Obviously, like, VizCom, everything's online, so I guess you're not really spending money on supplies. Um, but, you know, you gotta, like, buy all your own paints if you're painting. You gotta buy all your... You have to buy all of your fabric, and fabric is really, really expensive. And they're... Obviously, you can make things on a budget, you know. Um, 
you can always like deconstruct a thrifted dress and you know turn it into something else with the fabric um things like that but like get ready to spend a lot of money if you're in the fashion department um i also feel like while it is terrifying and very competitive and i've seen a lot of like mean scary people that i am definitely very intimidated by um there's also like lots of really nice people that you know are gonna like comfort you when you're very stressed and having a mental breakdown or they're really nice when you don't know how to work something and they're just gonna help you even though they don't know you um so there's that um i feel like i should tell stories about like nightmare people maybe another video but um I'm gonna move on to talking about the dorms. So, freshman year, I started about, a, what am I saying? Freshman year, I lived in the 162 dorms and I did randomly assigned roommates. I had two of them, so we lived in a triple. And so there were two beds on the like, floor and then there was one bed in the loft and I had the loft. And peek at the loft apparently you're supposed to get like a like a full bed like a double um but i only had a twin bed so i think they scammed me um but the dorms are really really nice you get your own bathroom and you get your own kitchen and i think that's really great because i can cook and not live off of ramen um i feel like 162 is also the dorm that you that this is all before COVID, by the way, so I don't know what it's like now. But 162 is the dorm that was most, like, get together -y, if that makes sense. Like, every few nights they would have, like, posters on the bulletin board saying, like, you're invited to this free, like, cook with us dinner or free video game, like, that kind of thing. Um, so you can, like, definitely bond and meet lots of new people. Um, the laundry was... I don't remember what floor it's on, but it's just like you swipe your ID, you go in, there's lots of laundry machines, and you have to use your art card to um, pay for the laundry. I think I don't remember if you could use coins, but I was paid using my art card. Um, so laundry was there for you too, um, even though you had to pay. There were ovens on the top floor, and oh, the top floor was a studio. I remember that, it was so long ago, but it was really cool. You could like work on your stuff up there by yourself at night if you wanted to, cause technically you're not supposed to work on your art in your dorms if it's like, you know, messy. Um, so 162 was great for that. Um, I really love my roommates. I still like keep in touch with them. They're still my friends, um, which I think was great because I didn't like pick them. <laughs> Um, yeah, when then sophomore year, I lived in the Buckingham dorm with my friend Audrey, and then we had two other randomly assigned roommates, and the Buckingham was a lot different because you get your own private room or your own shared room, and then you, like, have a living room and a dining room slash kitchen with either one or two bathrooms depending on how many people are living there and the Buckingham is the non SAAC building if that makes sense like other students live there but with uh, Jones Hall which I never stayed in in 162 they're like only SAIC um, so that was fun I did a like room tour vlog move-in thing about that so you can check that out for more information um i feel like the buck had they gave you like the furniture already like the they gave you a couch they gave you a dining table and chairs and that kind of thing and a tv um but the 162 doesn't really have like you have to have your own furniture if you want to have a couch because it's a lot smaller, I think. Um, 
and also because I stayed up in the loft, I didn't get a lot of sunlight, especially in the winter, and that definitely made me really, really sad. So I would keep that in mind and go outside if you can and not like stay up in your loft all day like I did. Um, I... Yeah, oh, in the buck, you get your own laundry in your own apartment. Comes with a washer and dryer. And you don't have to pay to use them. Like, you don't have to put coins in, which is great. Um, it's also closer to the school buildings. Um, I think they do say that the buck is the furthest, but that's actually not true. The buck is definitely the closest to the school buildings. Um, but it is more expensive, I think. I think that's why I ended up sharing a room with Audrey because one, we were friends already, and two, it was the cheaper option than getting your own private room. I don't remember the prices, and I'm sure they're on the school website though. Okay, moving on to just briefly talking about off campus. Um, so, for my junior year and now gonna be my senior year, I live in an apartment, um, which is much different than living in the dorms um you know you gotta get all your own stuff and you gotta take the train to get to school make sure you're on time the trains get delayed um and also i definitely did not take advantage of this but when you're in the dorms you get your own gym not your own gym like you know like there's a gym in the building you can go for free and i have not been exercising and I feel like I definitely would have exercised a lot more had I like used the gyms that the school provided instead of like being like maybe I should get a YMCA membership and then like not going because it's like far away but then if you don't go you're wasting your money and you have to pay to go to the gym but if you were in the dorms it's free um so yeah I would definitely take advantage of that the dorms had a lot of like community spaces too so you can always meet new people and you can always chill there with your friends. You could find a quiet space to do your homework. Um, you had your, they had printers available. Um, and I definitely feel like I should have used that more. Oh, and the studio space was great. The buck doesn't have studio space, but I feel like I should have used all that space a lot more in 162. Um yeah i feel like the dorms are also close to grocery stores you know the, you're close to the target you're downtown there's a trader joe's there's an aldi's i think or like a jewel um so you definitely go get your groceries since you need to get groceries because you have your own kitchen and i feel like living off campus i live super close to a few grocery stores but like if you happen to get an apartment where it's it's you have to take the train or something that's kind of sucky you know um so the pros i feel like the school is very interdisciplinary you can definitely pick and choose what classes you want to take like since i've done animation fashion some fibers um and if i wanted to i could still take like a painting class a ceramics class things like that photography viscom um and I also think it's great that they have a lot of equipment for you to use and, you know, you're not going to have access to it when you graduate, so you should use it now. Like, I had a photo shoot recently and, you know, lighting's not the best, but I could go to the school and rent a free lighting kit that was super fancy and kind of scary to use. Um, and they have, you know, you can use the wood shop, you can use the... 3d printers you can use like camera like they have fancy cameras they have microphones and like anything you want to think about like they probably have and i think that's great that they let us use it um i also feel like there's a lot of studio space um not just in the dorms but like they're like in the classrooms there's so much space to do things they have like the industrial sewing machines for to use um if i want to stay late all i have to do is get an overnight pass and like i can work all night there if i have to um 
they also have lockers so you don't even have to be part of the department you just have to be taking a class like there and then they'll like sign you up for a locker at the beginning of the semester um and you can put all your stuff there and not have to like lug it back to your apartment or dorm um there's money in your audit card for printing which you know obviously you have to pay for like they didn't give you the money it's your tuition money but um if you want to print out like big posters or something like that there is like funds on your card already built in for that which i think is like really helpful even though it's your own money um i think the resource centers are really cool too um the fashion resource center is definitely amazing they have so many cool like garments and they have so many books and you can just like make an appointment and you can go and like look at all of that cool stuff and like be inspired by it and i know there's a fibers resource center i'm not sure about the other departments but i'm sure they have those too um yeah i just think they have lots of really cool stuff to use like you can check out tools you can you know use the embroidery machine you have to get authorized but like that's pretty easy to do um i think okay the cons um oh i guess i should have put this out there earlier but like i'm not hating on the school i pay and all of my opinions are pretty honest because i pay a lot of money to go to this school and i'm not trying to like offend it or anything you know so i think the cons are definitely that it is kind of super focused on conceptual stuff i don't know about the departments but i'm definitely seeing it in the fashion department um and i understand concepts are important but i kind of want to learn more technical stuff too and I also think it's really like kind of about like going big or going home and that like more is better. I guess I don't see a lot of like minimalist garments but that could also just be like the people that are making it themselves. I just don't see that because um, I just feel like teachers always like what can you add to this to make it better? What can you and it's not like really like what can you take away or like enough this is fine don't add more to it like that kind of thing um i also think like for internships i didn't really talk about internships but you have to pay to um register an internship for school credit which kind of really sucks um especially because most internships aren't even paid so you're kind of like losing money and it's not even like a at a neutral or like you are getting paid to do this. Um, I feel like money is also a big thing. You have to pay for supplies. You have to get groceries. You have to, you know, do a lot of stuff. School's expensive, and I also had to buy a textbook. And the teacher was like, "This is a mandatory textbook. We're gonna be using it. You have to get it." And I showed up to class without i showed up to the first class without buying it yet because i wasn't sure if we needed it and she was like yes we need this textbook and so i was like okay i guess i'm buying it it was like a hundred bucks and i only used it once we only used it once in class and i was like lady please and she like didn't believe in like copies so you know like photocopying something and then like sh distributing it to the class so i feel like had i made a friend and or like gotten even like a group of people together fr from the class and like let's just share this one textbook and I'll pitch in and that would have been a lot better because now I don't know what to do with that textbook um I also think the cafeteria kind of needs to be better there's three cafes I believe one in the one 280 building is that what it's called it used to be called Columbus there's one in the McLean Center building and there's one in Sharp um i mainly go to the sharp cafe and when you get food to to order like you fill out a form of what you want and then you give it to them and then they cook it for you that food is pretty good but usually you're in a rush trying to get to class and you're just grabbing off like what the food that's already there and it's like a really sad hamburger with only bun meat and bun or chicken fingers or french fries 
like after you eat that every day freshman year you get really sick of it and then you have a lot of money left on your meal plan um and it rolls over so you're just like piling up the money um because you don't want to eat there anymore because it kind of sucks um i do like that you get refunded when you graduate for the meal plan money because i'm just waiting for that um and also they do have like these like themed days i don't know i haven't eaten there in like a year but they used to do like a greek day um asian day a like it was like stir fry i know there was like a pasta day and those foods were pretty good because they're like made fresh to order and it's like a new variety because you don't get it every day you have to wait for that day of the week um i also don't like for your art card you can't take out money so your art card is like your id basically and you know you use it to pay for your meals you use it to pay for supplies when you go to the resource not resource what is it called resale center if you want to buy some buy supplies from there um like wood for the you know like things like that um that they have to sell to you you have to put they only accept art card and you have to put money into your art card but if you put like a hundred dollars and you only use 20 of those that money's not coming back out um so you gotta spend it so you know make sure you put just the right amount of money in i guess um I also think the oh yeah okay so for the resale thing that I just mentioned it takes it's pretty cheap so I would use it because when you have to like run to Blick Blick kind of overprices things so even though it's inconvenience because you can't take it out I just wish that they would let you take the money out of your art card um also think the printers are really cool but they're kind of hard to figure out at first because you have to make sure there's like a long list of printers in the school so you got to make sure you're clicking on the right one when you hit print um and you got to swipe your card and log in it's really complicated but once you like get to know how to do it it's pretty like easy and fast but if you're like late if you're running late and you got to print something for class that is not the time because it's really stressful and sometimes they print out the wrong size things if you're using those like large poster printers that they have or like photo printers I guess I don't know what they're called um but I would definitely figure out how to use that when you have time and not when you're running late to class and you have to print like a report or something um yeah so this fall is gonna be my final year and I definitely think burnout is real I think COVID really messed with me and my loneliness and also having to take so many classes while everything's online but you're still making art but you're not motivated to make art and everything has to be super deep and super conceptual but you're just not feeling it is really really rough um but i think that this summer has definitely helped like let like the fact that i was able to take a break really helped because i had what did i have it was fall covid winter class spring like half and half and so summer really let me breathe and my internship really helped me to i don't know like focus on a different learning experience that wasn't school and really like helped me to be like yeah this is what I want to do for like my life and I don't know I'm just kind of scared to graduate I'm excited but I'm scared because I don't know what I'm doing with my life I don't know what I'm gonna do in the future and like I think that's okay but sometimes I just feel like I'm not good enough especially when you see like all the other amazing people at your school and you're like dang they have really good stuff and I just can't compete with that um but I'm slowly starting to get more confident in myself like just looking back at the stuff I did freshman year and the 
the like level I'm at now has definitely improved and I'm just like I think I can do this um so yeah sorry that was super long hopefully I covered everything um, if not, let me know in the comments down below. I can always talk about something more in depth in a different video or, you know, like DM me on Instagram. Um, yeah, if you're coming to SAC, hopefully I'll see you when we can be friends. And if you're just watching this, or I don't even know if anyone's gonna watch this, but if you watch this and you don't go to SAC, that's okay too. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Everyone stay safe. Bye.